Welcome to part 4 of Working Culture in Korea. Today we will discuss about a very important subject which is overtime work and let's dive in. So many people who are working or have some working relationship with Koreans, they know that overtime work in Korea is one of the longest in Asia and in the world. It is not rare to see lights in the company building or people working at 10 p.m., 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. And there are many reasons why it happens. And a lot of the times it's not really related to actual work that has to be done, but it's more related to cultural and work culture issues, such as to show my dedication and commitment. So a lot of the times by staying long hours, I show my manager, I show my team members that I am dedicated, that I am committed to this company, not only my company, but my team, my department, and even my role. So it shows dedication. Another thing it shows, it shows respect. And this is another way to show respect to the company, to the team leader, to team members. I respect them by being in the company late and working as much as I can. And very connected to respect, it also show loyalty. I'm here, I'm with you, I am loyal to company, I am loyal even sometimes to the team manager or I'm loyal to the team. So loyalty is another thing I can show by working late. Sometimes an employee can do it due to some political issues that they want to solve or maybe they want to show somebody some things. So for example, let's say I want to move to another department and it's under negotiation. So one way for me to show them that I'm hardworking and I'm serious about it is, for example, to show them that I'm working late. But they cannot really see that I'm working late because there are different departments. Maybe they're not sitting with me. So, for example, I can send them an email at 10 p.m. And then when they receive the email, they say, oh, he was working so late. And they can consider me as a potential candidate. And this is just one example. There are many other political issues that can affect my overtime work. Another benefit that an employee can have from working late is to keep ahead with what's happening. So since a lot of people staying late and usually it's come from top down, so usually the manager will stay late and an employee will not go before the manager, but they an employee can also understand what's going on in the company and maybe they can create stronger relationship with the manager and the manager can give them some, some work related information. So for example, I stayed late and my manager also stayed late and there is no one else from our team. He might ask me to do something which related to the next project. And then I have the knowledge of what's going on and I'm already in advance and I can perform better and I can show results better. And of course, there are many other reasons, but the last point that I want to make is the perception and saving face. So we were talking about before saving face in Korea and keeping your dignity and keeping your honor is very important. By staying late, I can gain trust. I can make people perceive me as hardworking and later on it can be in my favor. So that's another reason why people do it. And as you see, a lot of those reasons are not really related to work that has to be done or some crunching schedule. It is actually more related to behind the scenes issues and things that can happen due to my overtime. When we're discussing about overtime, a lot of the people still consider it as lack of work-life balance. Maybe we don't get a lot, enough rest. Maybe we don't have the time to do other things. So there are negative implications to overtime and it is known. So overtime is not something that everybody say is only positive. However, the positive impact of it is enough to keep overtime as a mainstream action here in Korea. So the benefits are still big enough for employees to keep doing it, but definitely there is change. Slowly but surely you will see a little more people going a little bit earlier. And even when we're talking about the government, there is a change. So in July 2018, 52 working hours week law has passed. Implementation will take time. Again, this is something very difficult to force, but basically the government is trying to attack this issue 
and to resolve it and to try to make a little bit more balance as overtime work actually causing efficiency level to go down in Korean companies. So legislation is the one way that Korean government is dealing with this subject. So from another perspective, actually Koreans still might think that an employee who does not do overtime at all, they might think maybe he's lazy, maybe he's not loyal to the company, maybe he has some problems. So so there are still those kind of negative thoughts about people who are not doing overtime work. Now, when it comes to Koreans working with non-Koreans, many of the times Korean can understand and accept that non-Koreans do not work the same hours. And this is still gap in business, but it's not a major issue when working with non-Koreans. And that was all about overtime. I hope you enjoyed this subject. And I hope you can understand a little bit more about why Koreans work long hours and what's the motivation behind it. And I will see you in part five.